It's a lot more complicated than spin, spin fishing, um, mainly because you're casting forward and back. Um, the main, one main difference is you're not casting, uh, you're not casting the lure, you're casting the line. And I even say that with some trepidation because, quite honestly, you're not doing anything other than loading the rod. You're bending, bending the rod and stopping the rod. And when you stop the rod, the, the, the fly rod is what casts the line and ultimately the fly. So as I pick up, I'm bent, putting a bend in the rod and I stop it, and then the rod unbends, the, um, unbends and throws the line. Disadvantage of the fly rod are places like we are right now is a very tight cover. I've got just a little narrow corridor to throw my back cast, so there's not a lot of room. People that get started, uh, they, maybe they're, they're fly fishermen already and they, they decide to get a kayak. I think one of the problems they have is casting. Um, one of the greatest tips I offer anyone is, uh, with fly casting is uh, most people are, ca are fishing like this with the rod in the air. And uh, when I was talking about loading the rod, by the time they load the rod, they're um, they're here, they're starting to load the rod and they finish their cast off and hit the water in the back. And uh, the, the, so the great tip that I really offer everybody is when you make your cast, you've got your line out and you're stripping in. I always lean over like this because I'm ready for a strike. But if, if, even if you're back like this, those last few strips before you make your cast, you want to lean forward and get ready because you have a long casting stroke. And that is the problem in the kayak. It's not being low to the water, it's that you can't make a long casting stroke. There's not enough space, basically, because you're sitting down. It's, it's a little harder to get your whole body involved with it. But, so by leaning forward and moving back, I can try to get a little more body movement into my cast.